Greetings from Singapore guys. I am actually at La Tendo Singapore today, browsing out all the new arrivals for today. It's going to be a new format we're trying out today. It's going to be a long video, so grab a cup of coffee and check out the store with me. New in the store, finally, Gundam Chimera. Seen the box for the first time and yes, it is a very big box indeed. So it's available here in La Tendo in case you're looking for it. So just like Malaysia as well, you can't find any Caliban in Latendo. They have almost every single other variant of the mobile suit here, but no Caliban. They do have one here on display though, so yeah, not too bad. But other than that, you don't really have any Caliban here. They have some perfect grid here as well, but what is interesting is the Dendrobium is actually available here, 495 Singapore dollars. So quite interesting. A lot of people in the store, so it's going to be a little bit noisy. But let me show you what they have, which is a little bit different, not your usual Bandai releases. They actually have the Max Factory Plamax Makima character. Very cool. Never seen this before. First time seeing this. And they also have this particular character. I think you know which it is. This is the Minimum Factory Umisan Shino no Me. Side BB. It's available here in case you're looking for that. And also this very popular, I believe she's a cosplay as well. Non, she's right here. Okay, very, very cool. Also some characters from uh, Macross, Lemi Mei, and also Misa Hayase. Yeah, so very nice to see different kits available here other than just your typical Bandai Gunpla releases, okay? They also surprisingly do have some special premium Bandai kits here as well. This is the Psycho Zaku Gundam Thunderbolt last session version. Not seen this before. And also some Togis. This is a premium Bandai exclusive. Okay. And they also have, I don't recall seeing this. Let me show you guys this particular box. Oh, there it is. Upside down. Oh, this guys, the Mercurius and the Vignette. Very cool. First time seeing this box in retail actually. So it's actually nice to see some premium Bandai boxes in Latendo itself. Okay. Ooh. J Ridden Custom Master Grade Premium Bandai is also available here. Very cool. Um, the other thing that also caught my eye is that they actually have the Gundam Base Limited Kits. Unicorn Gundam is here. And also, wow. Haven't seen this guy in a long while. Axia Repair Tree Premium Bandai. Very cool variation. They have quite a lot of nice variation of kits available here other than just your normal standard retail kits. And the Sazabi. This is the Fukuoka edition. Very cool. They have it here as well. It's 134 Singapore dollars in case you're wondering. Okay. So before I go on to the bottom, let me show you what's on top. Da -da -da -da. Haven't seen this in a long time. A high grade arch angel hanger. $291. This is a very rare find indeed in the store. And of course, they also have the arch angel catapult deck. This is a very big box. It's even bigger than your typical premium. Uh, sorry, your perfect grade is almost the same size as the dendrobium itself. So very big box in case you're looking for this. Is available here at the Latendo store here at Suntech. Gundam Heavy Arms Clear Color. I think this is the first time I see this. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Expo Special. Or oh, was this a Premium Bandai? So, available here as well. This is something new. I've not seen this before. Let me grab this kit. Okay. Oh, this is the expansion part set for the EW series Glory of Losers very cool $72 so if you're looking for this it's available here this is for the master grade set okay first time seeing this as well because I've never been to Fukuoka so actually getting to see the booster rate in person in Singapore is quite something else I've not seen this in Malaysia as well if I'm not mistaken the booster rate is also available here. Very cool. Let me put this back. 
Now what is interesting is at the second row, the second row they actually have the real great Sazabi clear color. We've seen this before the Esco not too long ago. But the one that I'm really keen is actually this guy. The Freedom Gundam Silver Coating. This is a very good looking kit. Uh, we reviewed this, I'm oh, sorry, we featured this on our channel when it was first announced. It has a two-tone metallic silver coating, so I really like this kit. It's a very nice solid kit as well. Great joints. And the Gundam base, Gundam H1 wear system, the clear color version is also available here. I'm surprised how big this box is in this particular release. Very interesting. Wow. $232. In case you're wondering, it's available here. So you're getting three separate kits in one box, I assume. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Coming down the bottom, this is where i have looking at a lot of different kits for the first time. Doge Custom, not seen this before in retail. Uh, I think this, I've seen this before in Malaysia, Escape Pod. But I think some of you are actually probably looking for this as well. The Red Giant Third MSN is also available here. Not many people are actually talking about this, but yeah, this was one of the uh, premium bundle releases as well. Because you don't really see this in retail that often. Okay. Gundam Thunderbolt, last session version as well, is here to accompany the Zaku, as we've seen. Heavy Gundam. Gundam Wizard, wow. They have it here as well. Gunner Wizard, Quibbly Dam, and Outframe Astro Tadi. Astro Outframe. Very cool. Okay. So, in terms of Gunpla selection, they do have a very nice mix of your normal retail Gunpla kits and also your premium Bandai and also Gunner Base exclusive. But I'm looking at something unique back here. What is that? Ooh. The Argama Catapult that is hidden, hidden, hidden at the back. So they also actually have this here at the Latendo store. Come and check it out if you're looking for this particular kit. Now looking at this particular row, they actually have a lot more model kits. Your typical uh, Kyoka Senki retail, Figurez Camera the Sentai. But one thing I want to show you guys is this one. You don't see this in retail that often. Green Langan Plyobot. Very cool. I really love the the box art. Yeah, very basic, but it's available here. $83. Also, being a big MHA fan myself, I've been really wondering how does the minor kit version of these guys are like Izuku Midoriya and also Bakugo Kaboom. Very cool. Side by side, yeah. So it's available here at the Latino store in Suntec. No, I'm not getting paid to do this video. I'm just here checking out the store. Okay, now something a little bit different other than Gunpla, they also have a lot of flame toy kits from the Transformers to the G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes. Haven't really seen a lot of people talking about this particular series, surprisingly. So they have the uh, Snake Eyes and also the Storm Shadows bike. Let me pull out the box on. Yep. Yeah, it's a shame that you don't hear a lot of people talking more about this. They even have the um, RWAWE Striker water kit from uh, Flame Toys as well. I don't even remember Flame Toys actually announcing this out in the market. Now, one series that don't get a lot of love is Hexa Gear. I'm a big fan of Hexa Gear, as you guys know. It does seem like they do have some selection of Hexa Gear kits in store. Uh, which are the ones that I'm talking about. They don't really have all the new ones, but they do have Acne Rage. So Acne Rage is one of the biggest release to date for the Hexa Gear series. So definitely worth checking it out if you like. But my favorite is really Weird Tales. Love this kit. Planning to get this once I have enough cash and also clearing my backlog at the same time. Surprisingly, they also have the uh, Hasegawa Macross kits as well. So, yeah, in terms of parts separation and fitting, Hasegawa kits are not known to be easy to build. Okay, so if you are loving the Macross series and you plan to get some Hasegawa kits, just be mindful of that. More, more um, the Gios and also Macross kits are available in store as well. Some of the kits that I'm not very familiar with, like for example, Aoshima. 
Aquanic Monster. Very cool. And also some China uh, brands as well. I'm not very familiar with this. But they do have a nice mixture of kits in case you're wondering. So for me, I think the biggest find for me is really the Zoid series. They have almost every single character from the Zoid HMM series here in store from Kotobukiya. Uh, the one that I'm actually gravitating towards is actually the Iron Kong. I'm not going to attempt to take this box out because it's really big. But they have the Iron Kong and also the big boy, Kojilas. Very cool. Okay. Also, they have the uh, Fang Tiger. So for me, it's actually the first time looking at all these um, Kodobokia kits because it's not a lot of retailers, especially in Malaysia, carries them. There is the unfortunate part. I think due to the um, cost. So not a lot of people actually buy the Zoid series in Malaysia. So, But it's definitely a series that's worth checking out. I, I'm hearing nothing but good rare reviews for Zoid. <laughs> When it comes to the HMM series. Also the new uh, 40th anniversary from Takara Tommy are also available here. The Rising Tiger is actually a very cool looking kit. It's available also in Malaysia. So do check it out. The new 40th anniversary version. Okay. Now moving on to the next aisle. Before I do that, they also have some very nice merch on the Witch from Mercury. What are these? If I don't mistaken, these are keychains. So these are character keychains from the Wish of Mercury, Suleta, Miri. They're all available here. Okay, even Shadik as well. So, a lot of different model kits. Kotobukiya. Very nice. Not sure what this character is, but they have a nice selection of Kotobukiya kits as well. Um, the one kit that actually I've been aiming for is the Susanawo Regalia. This kit is actually available here. So I remember when it first came out in Malaysia, this was sold out very quickly and the different variation Susanawo Soen is also out right now. The uh, Astra also looks very tempting. So one of these days I'm probably going to get the Megami device character to build and to review on our channel. Okay. Very cool. A nice variation, I have to say. Definitely a lot of things. Oh, yes! Mega Man! I just met a Mega Man fan not too long ago. So, he really loves Mega Man. So, you know who you are. Kurobokia is available here in Singapore in case you're looking for this. Very cool. They also have the uh, X Full Armor, which we did a review on our channel before so do, do go and do a search on our channel we had a mega man x full armor fully painted reviewed on our channel okay moving along to this side a lot more kotobukiya kits i am not very familiar with all the gold color characters but the one that i am looking at probably getting all these days to try out is actually the cross frame gao gaigar girl that i yeah, looks very unique. How much is it? 110 Singapore dollars. Yeah, Kodobuke kits are a little bit more pricey, but they are well known for their plastic quality. So it is a little bit thicker than what you usually see on the Gunpla series. Oh, they have Yinghu as well. Not too bad. Okay. Quite a lot of things in here. So let me get up. And on this other side of the store, it is all uh, action figures. So I'm not going to go through the action figure series because then the video is going to be a little bit too long. But coming back here in terms of the uh, plum model kits, they do have quite a lot of model kits. Oh, on sale. Ninetales Astra Ninetales Homura. Only $100. Looks pretty sweet. Hmm. Okay. They also have the Frame Arm series. I've not personally tried to buy and build these guys, but I know the Little Armory series is quite popular with some of you who collect the weapons. So, yeah, they actually have quite a big chunk 
of them on sale here in case you're looking for any of these guys and surprisingly this is the first time I'm actually seeing this they also have biohazard interesting Resident Evil Code Veronica very cool very cool indeed Death Island and if I'm not mistaken this is Leon no this is not Leon this is um, what's this guy's name please remind me in the comment section Ooh, even planes. One five hundred skill and weapons. So yeah, very cool. A, a very nice selection of gunpla kits available here at the Lantendo store. In case you're wondering, do they have um, tools, paints? Yes, they do have that. Ta da da! Metal Gear Rex, Kodobukiya as well. It's available. Very nice variety of plumo kits. They don't have a lot of plumo kits, but what they have to install is actually quite. Uh, a nice variation mobile <laughs> this is the um, modeling support goods from Korobukia they have it here as well in case you're looking for additional weapons custom weapons for your plumo the TMS runner stands they do have quite a lot of um, accessories on sale even sandpaper as well and the cows what are the cows sorry so you can actually get them here at the La Tendo store. I hope the audio is okay in this recording because uh, yeah, I'm actually using my phone. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I think it's a very nice collection of all the uh, new kits. I don't see a lot of new kits from the new um, Build Divers. This is the only one I saw in store. But other than that, yeah. There really isn't a lot. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to share this with you guys. They also have the Gundam artifact in store as well. They're on sale, only $42. And in case you want to buy the whole box, ta -da -da, they also have it as well. So this is from the latest series, I believe. Zaku, Yerdoga. Uh, there is the uh, Super Gundam. Palace of Teen and also Wing and Togis. Only $42. I almost missed this one out. Okay, but again, yeah. Very cool place to come and get either normal retail kits like this or some special Premium Bandai Expo series which I've not seen before. Quite a lot of new findings uh, for me. So the one that I'm actually quite keen at is the, not this guy, but actually the Archangel, the Aragama, they're all available here. There's also one big box at the back. That guy. Let me see if I can check out what it is. Oh, that's the Aragama catapult deck. It's the same. Oops, sorry. Almost dropped my camera there. Okay. Yep. I think the one that I really want to buy is actually this guy. Let me check out what's the price. 264 Singapore dollars. Yeah, if you guys get a chance to buy this, you should definitely go for it. The Freedom Gundam 2.0 silver coating is a very, very good looking kit. And also, I almost missed this. Gonna be limited. 3.0. G3 colors. Very cool. Last thing I want to show you guys is basically this. BF1S. This is from Oh Macro. Not too sure who this this manufacturer is. It's all the new arrivals. Okay. So there you have it folks. I think this is a very quick overview of the plum motor kits available in store. This is the new GSC plum motor kit Thunder Jaw from Horizon Forbidden Dawn. Very cool. Come and check out the store if you're in Singapore. And in case you're looking for the E models from More Storm, they also have the Iron Spidey and also Iron Man Mark L as well. Okay, thank you guys for watching. But till then, uh, if you're new to our channel, do remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share as usual. Okay, see you guys in the comment section below.